is Adam Gusso with Modern Blues Harmonica, and I understand that you are interested in learning how to play funky blues harmonica. So that's something I've been doing for a long time, actually for many years as part of a Harlem bass street duo called Satan and Adam. So I'm going to bring some of that to what I'm going to show you. What are you going to need in order to learn? First of all, this isn't really for beginners because in order to play funky blues harmonica properly, you need to have two bends under control. You need to have the two draw bend and that little blue third three draw bend. If you don't have those, probably can't play, but well, maybe I'll try to find something for you at the end of this, okay? So you're probably an advanced beginner to intermediate or somewhere in there and you want to learn how to play funky blues harmonica. So what do we do? Well, I have a C harp. First thing is it's all done on a key of C. It happens to be a Honor Marine Band. We're going to start simple. Now, a funk beat, actually, I kind of need to show you the foot thing. I don't know if I can, can I do that? Can we actually, in real time, let's see, how about, let's see if I can do that. So, um, it's, of course, it's hard for me, and now I'm upside down, I can't even see my own feet. Um, but this is your beat, and you've got to feel this thing, right? It's a dump, bump, bump. So that's a good tempo. Bump, 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 bump. Boom, boom. Now you notice I'm doing silly things. I'm like sort of singing syllables out loud. If you're going to play funky, you got to feel it funky. I'm not trying to be jive. If you're going to play funky, you got to feel it before you even get near kind of making noise on the harmonica. Boom, t -t -doom, t -t -doom, t -t -t -t. Now, check it out. The foundation of funk is 16th notes, which is to say for every beat down there, I've got something going The key thing about funk is you got a whole bunch of different off beats that you could stress, or you can just stress the downbeat. So let me um, let me get this thing back in here. Hold on a sec. We're doing this in real real time. So one, two, three, four. Can you go? If you can do that, you've got that level of articulation, you have a chance at doing this. Now you don't need to know all this theoretical background and, and it's theoretical baggage, I guess you could say. But that's what's going on underneath, is that there's a bunch of offbeats. There's like a main offbeat, there's main downbeats. When James Brown talks about hitting it hard on the one, he means, he means the downbeat, the first of those four potential beats on the first beat, right? One, two, three, four, boom, 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 boom. So that's your boom, that's down, that's downbeat on the one. Now, I'm always gonna start on that with my harp, and I'm gonna go, and I'm going to hit on the one and the two beats. I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to go two draw bend. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to go two draw and then two draw bend. So I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to hit on bar three. Same thing, so I'm hitting. Now, what you notice about that third beat is that I hit it a little bit ahead of, the, I mean the third note was hit a little bit ahead of the third beat, right? So if I didn't hit it ahead, it would be all on the downbeat. It would be hitting the note at the same time as my foot's hitting the ground. But in order to get funky, you gotta hit that, that third note a little ahead of the beat. Now, in order to get really funky, you might wanna to try to do what I'm doing, which is I'm kinda of coughing in these weird off beats, so my breath, my <coughs> is actually a kind of stressed off beat. Just do that. Can you hear what I'm doing? I'm just doing two draw bend, two draw, two draw bend, two draw, with some coughs in between. I can't tell you where I'm placing the cough. That's on the central upbeat. So that's, if I'm going ba 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 ba, that's um, Just do that. Now that what I did there is pretty tricky. I think that's a little bit above where we are. So let me let me keep it easy. But that's actually a sort of little Walter riff. Um, mellow down easy. I'm doing my own little version of that mellow down easy. Like he may be doing something a little bit different. Anyway, doesn't really matter. He's playing from the funk, right? That's the key thing about this. So we're slowing it down, keeping this beat one, two. Ch -ch 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 and you want to have in your head a. Ch -ch -ch okay, so let's let's make real music now. What did I do? <coughs> 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 Repetition.
competition with variation. So the first one, you got that. That's two draw, two draw bend, two draw. The second one is. Uh, the second one is. So what I did there is I, I went down to the one draw, to the two draw whole step bend, let it up to the two, to the three draw, and back to the two. So the first one's, can you do that? Just that. That's funky. Let's add something to that. So we got that basic little thing. Now this is again, it's not beginners. You got to have those bends. That's basic. All right. Should I come back with a second lesson? Should I end this one right away? How about a little bit more? All right. Um. Ah, it's too hard for you guys. Now. How about that? I like that one. We'll do that and we'll end this lesson. Let's do it real slow. Can't do it slow. Sometimes the funk disappears when you try to slow it down. Okay, so the, the lick. That's too hard. I don't know if I can teach this stuff. It's really hard to teach. Why am I uploading a video to YouTube if I can't teach? Hmm. Maybe the funk is a hard thing to pass on. Hmm. camera? Okay, wait a minute. How about that? We'll just, we'll end with that, because that's, because that's just like a basic line, but I'm funking it up, because it's all about the stress, right? And so you'll know that you've got the funk, first of all, when you're filled with this kind of energy, because funk does that, but you'll know you've got the funk, you'll know you've got the funk when you feel your shoulders being pulled, and what that is, is you've got counter rhythms being set up in your body. Your body is the text that you're writing on. How about that? So I'm glissandoing to six blow, five draw. Really, it's the blue scale. Six blow, five draw, four draw, four draw bend, four blow, and then the three draw, the blue third, back down a little bit. To the two, now, the key thing is the timing. You'll know you've got the timing right when you feel a pull in your shoulders. I know that sounds strange. Now you see, you want to know how to play blues harmonica, but you're probably attending to the wrong things. You're probably listening to the notes, and you're not actually watching what I'm doing, right? And when you're watching players, sometimes they're doing little things that are actually extremely important with their bodies, but they're below the level of your consciousness, your ability to actually see it. I'm probably not watching either, but when you play, and see, most harmonica teachers aren't even aware they're doing these things, or else they can't swing. But if they can swing, maybe they don't know that that's where they're carrying it, right? I'm giving away all the secrets of the funk right now. You want to learn how to play funky blues harmonica. Well, let me just say a quick commercial announcement for my friend Ronnie Shellist. The very first harmonica video I saw on YouTube back in like 2006 was called Funky Blues Harmonica, and it was by Ronnie Shellist, who's now a friend of mine and a teaching partner. Um, so he's going to be doing some more funky blues harmonica riffs. Anyway, let's go back to the basics. We'll review, and I'm gone. All right, I got to head out of here. One, two, remember the first thing is get that. 
people like to people like to sort of uh, burlesque, uh, you know, pe when people are funky, that sort of chicken neck thing. But what that is is just your rhythmic body carrying a, 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 a downbeat and a whole bunch of internal offbeats, right? So that's why people who actually have funk or are funky, there, there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, th right, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Two. I can't even, I can't count it, but I can do it. There you go. All the coughs. Gotta be like a. It's gotta be. Keep keep that time. Keep that time. So. So that's all for me. Funky blues harmonica. This is Adam Gusso, Modern Blues Harmonica. Before you go, do me one favor, please. And I realize I'm pointing at you like an infomercial for chamois or something like that. Um, what I'd like you to do is please subscribe to my channel, like the video, do all that normal stuff. Hopefully you liked it. If you're annoyed by it, put a thumb down. Okay, and I'll see you down the line. Bye-bye. <laughs>